Uh, like I mentioned, there have been some demonstrations in the past few weeks, especially by some, um, you know, uh, unfortunate investors of Gold Coast Fund Management. And so let's take a look at that quickly before I speak to our psychologist in the studio. This is one of the many protests that has hit the company in recent times. Gold Coast Fund Management, a subsidiary of Group Indum, has struggled just like defunct GM Bank, which was downgraded to a savings and loans before its license was finally withdrawn. The protest started from Obra Circle towards TUC and the High Street, Ministries and finally at the Jubilee House. Leadership presented a petition to the Finance Ministry over grievances they demanded urgent response. Police visibility was high, which ensured a peaceful exercise. Inscriptions on placards clearly revealed how frustrated these customers were. Demonstrations are mostly characterized by a breathtaking moments, and this is no exception. And for people to go this extra, it only tells you how frustrated they are and how far they can go to press home their demands. And there's one thing running through their lips, they want their lockup funds pay them. According to leadership, about 500 of their members, mostly pensioners, have died. And these are persons who've invested with their pension funds. Per the demands of customers, they want President Tegufu Ado to prosecute Dr. Papakwisi Indun together with the entire management of Gold Coast Fund. But by this time, I should be rolling my trolley with every British, British breakfast and enjoy my life before I die. Because Indun said, you are a fool to invest your money here. I applied for my school fees and my rents. They didn't pay for the rents. They didn't pay for the school fees because of that. I, I, I've had to defend my cause. Wow. Yes, for a whole one year. Now, if they don't pay me the money, it means that maybe I have to forget about the school. Is it fair? They also won the accounts of 2016 presidential candidate of the PPP, Dr. Papakusi Indum, frozen. Members also won the Director General of the Securities and Asian Commission, Daniel Ogbame Tete, sacked. When customers reached their final destination, which was a Jubilee House, leadership refused to present the petition to the representative until the president, vice or chief of staff, showed up. The alleged numerous petitions to the presidency have fallen on deaf ears. They finally presented the petition after Minister of State in charge of state interests and governor's authority, Dr. Kwekwe Fie, assured them of relaying their grievances directly to the president. This is about feed time because whenever we organize demonstration in our various regions, we send delegation to come and present petition to his excellency. But it will interest you to know that little has been said on all those petitions that we submitted. So we believe that maybe the president wasn't privy to these petitions that we submitted. On those grounds, or on these grounds, we demanded for the presence of the president or the vice president or the chief of staff to come and receive. Deputy PRO of the Accra Regional Police Command, Inspector Bright Kobina Danso, entreated prospective demonstrators to take a cue from this peaceful demonstration. Gold Coast Fund Management has a customer base of 800,000. Beginning with that report, but this is just a bit of what people are actually experiencing um, across the country. People who have had their monies and investments locked up as well.